Today we're going to be talking about movies and TV shows that are dropping in January 2021 that feature queer women in them. If you go on to enjoy this video and you would like to check out live reactions to some of these movies and TV shows, hit that subscribe button as I will be doing them as they come out. All right, let's get into this. Starting with January 8th, we've got Dickinson season two dropping on Apple TV+. I always love your poems, but I can't be your only reader anymore. You need to share your writing with the world. Dickinson is a TV show based around Emily Dickinson and features a amazing storyline between her and Sue, which I adore so much. They are everything to me. Um, so if you want to check out season one, it's already up on Apple TV Plus. Season two is dropping January 8th. I literally love everything about this show. Like the way it's filmed, the music, obviously Sue and Emily's relationship. I love everything about this show. So I'm super, super excited for season two. I will be doing live reactions to them as soon as they drop. So like I mentioned, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to check them out. Jumping over to January 17th, we've got Batwoman season two dropping on the CW. I where you're at. The city needs a hero, it needs a Batwoman. So the first episode of season two is dropping January 17th. Um, if you guys are unfamiliar with Batwoman, it's a sort of DC TV show, so based around a superhero character, Batwoman, who is queer, and there are a lot of queer relationships and characters in this show. So if you're curious about it, definitely go check out season one. I really, really enjoyed it. We have a brand new Batwoman this upcoming season, which I'm very curious to see how they're gonna play out this storyline. I'm very curious to see how it all turns out. I'm going to be trialing reactions for Batwoman. I'll start off doing reaction videos, I'll obviously do a reaction to the first episode, and I'll just see how you guys enjoy them. Jumping over to January 20th, also on the CW, we've got Riverdale Season 5. Something's coming, and it's gonna hit you like a Mack truck. So I personally don't watch Riverdale. I think I would watch the pilot and it was a nope from me. <laughs> I believe there has been a queer storyline in the last couple seasons. I'm not entirely sure where that storyline is up to going into season five, um, but I thought I would mention it in case those of you that have been watching it are keen to check it out. It is dropping on the CW. The first episode is dropping January 20th. Also dropping January 20th on the CW is Nancy Drew season two. I've been attacked, no ID, no phone. Before she lost consciousness, she said your name. How do you have the bandwidth for another mystery? So first episode is back January 20th and I am excited for Nancy Drew. I enjoyed the first season. It was definitely one of those shows that I enjoyed just sort of like as sort of a background show. I enjoyed having playing without me paying too much attention to. I loved the queer storyline in season one. It was super gay, like the introduction of the two characters. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> so yeah, I am excited to see season two. Again, also on the CW, the CW is dropping all their shows this week, apparently. Um, on the CW, dropping January 21st, we have Legacies Season 3. And if I can go out doing this one good thing that would help you live a better life, it was worth it. I'm super excited for Legacies. It's, I, it's just, I love it. It's one of those shows I just love. For those that are unfamiliar, Legacies is a spin-off from the sort of Vampire Diaries show universe but um it is sort of focused on a school housing these supernatural creatures and honestly i love all of them i have so many ships on this show otp is obviously hosey because hosey <laughs> but i'm very curious about josie and jade i believe it was teased in the last season and i'm very curious to see if that actually goes anywhere or if it was just sort of a teasing thing last season was a bit I think they finished it um, mid-season because of Corona and they were just like, eh, let's just jump to season three and continue it from there. Um, so I, yeah, I'm not 100% sure what's going on jumping into season three, um, how different storylines are going to play out. It, it's all up in the air for me. I haven't really dived too much into legacies, like the spoilers and stuff like that, but I am excited to watch it. I also will be doing reaction videos to these episodes as they release. Um, obviously, unlike, you know, Apple TV or Netflix or stuff like that, these release weekly, so I'll upload my videos weekly as well. 
Jumping over to January 24th, also on the CW, we have Charmed Season 3 dropping. To restore life to the magical world requires the greatest power and the greatest sacrifice. I personally did not get into Charmed. I think I watched the first half of season one and it didn't really grab my attention. But for those that are unaware, Charmed is obviously a, I don't, is it a remake? Is a reboot or a prequel? It's, it's related to the original Charmed TV shows, which is based around three sisters that are witches. Now in this series, one of those sisters is queer and has had relationships um, obviously storylines the last couple seasons, I believe. Um, I'm not entirely sure where she's up to going into season three, but um, that's that's a show if you guys are interested. Charmed, dropping on the CW January 24th is the first episode. Again, it is a weekly series. Also January 24th, we've got the second part to Euphoria's um, standalone episodes. It was your idea. I, kn I know it was my idea, but I just, I don't think it's a good idea. Maybe, Maybe I deserve it. This is dropping on HBO Max. The first part was um, Rue's episode. Second part is going to be Jules' episode. I'm very curious to see what the second part brings us because I was sort of, I, I wasn't really sure what to expect from the first part, but now that we've seen it, it's very sort of, it's kind of like the episode was one scene, essentially. Zendaya is just, on a whole nother level, you know? So I'm very curious to see if part two is gonna be similar, it's gonna be sort of just like a scene, um, or if it's gonna, I don't know, if it's gonna be a different thing, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just very curious to see what Jules is up to. And then jumping over to January 25th, we've got Snowpiercer season two. Every revolution begins as a seed. It festers and spreads like wildfire until the gates are kicked down. Now Snowpiercer is a show based around the idea that there's been like this sort of ice age like event and the earth is inhabitable. Like you can't survive on the earth, it's too cold. Um, and so the last of humanity is on this train that just circles the earth constantly and that's how they're surviving. The show itself is incredible. I, I love this show and I'm really, really excited to watch it. They do have a small sort of side queer storyline in it, a couple characters, um, which, love them but it is a small part of the show but the show in a ho as a whole i i really really enjoy so i'm very excited to see season two now i believe it is dropping on tnt january 25th but last season season one i believe it was maybe like a week later it then dropped on netflix so maybe it was like a week behind if i'm remembering correctly so i'm hoping it's something similar that they're doing this year um they'll hopefully release it on netflix that i can watch it on um but yeah check that out snowpiercer season two so from what i could tell there's no movies dropping this month with queer women in it if I am missing some please let me know or if I'm missing any TV shows that have queer women dropping um, January uh, let me know in the comment section below because obviously I want to watch as many queer things as possible so let me know if there's any movies or TV shows that I have missed this month but that's it from me I hope you liked the video if you did hit the like button and like I mentioned if you are new and you haven't yet please subscribe if you would like to one check out my reactions to some of these TV shows and two I do this on a monthly basis these um, coming up movies and TV shows so I'll do another one next month so if you guys are keen to check out what's coming out each month hit that subscribe button as well but that's it from me I will see you in my next one okay bye